the directions for using this particular sheet. You need to look at the labels slideshow. You can also look at the labels screencasts. And what you want to do is in those uh, slides and in the screencast, you're going to be confronted with numerous theories and ideas about explaining homosexual uh, behavior. And um, some of the theories are going to be odd according to present day standards. But what you want to do is put the name, for example, Ulrich, and then whatever their summary is, whatever your summary is for Carl Ulrich's theory, you want to place it under either biological or social. So if it's a social explanation, that means that the individual was uh, manipulated somehow by society to be become a homosexual. If it's biological, then that means it's a result of the person being born that way. So when we look at Ulrich, who is arguing that there's a third sex, there is a male, a female, and a third sex, and that third sex being that umbrella term for any sort of uh, behavior that's not male-female, that would be a biological explanation. A social explanation would be something like mollycoddle, where the argument is used that the, the male has demonstrated female-like behaviors because the male has been spending too much time with mom. That is a social explanation because that is arguing that the individual is not born that way.